something called top index control, which I'm not going to get into right now, but we will get into once we begin eliminations. But all you need to know right now is that whoever is the furthest under their index is going to be the number one qualifier. And we do have more cards than we have spots for elimination. All right, folks, we're out here at the Flying H Drag Strip, brand new facility outside of Kansas City. We've got a great field, over 40 comp cars on the property that can win anywhere in the country. It's going to be a great weekend of action. Rick Brown coming in trying to defend his title, currently sitting on top of the points, but he's going to have a tough time because we've got some great competitors out here this weekend. The Division 5 Comp Bonus Fund is also gaining points here this weekend, so we got a lot of cars, a lot of on-track action, and we can't wait to see how the weekend shapes up. Semi-final round in Comp Eliminator, Don Thomas and Greg Campaign. So we got two C Dragster Automatics coming up side by side. And in Comp Eliminator, when you got two cars in the same class running against each other, the indexes are reset. There is no handicap start. It is first to the finish line wins. If you go 61 or better under your personal index, you will still get hit with a CIC penalty. But there is no handicap. So. Don Thomas, coming out of the number seven spot, has a little bit of a performance advantage. Great camp playing. Shutting her down early. And Greg Campaign coast to a 782 at 126 with the evil red eye shining as he left the starting line. So who 
is Don going to take on in the final round? Taylor Chemiskey and Roger Brogdon. Taylor for Chemiskey Performance, Roger for Roof Tech. Roger's taken 10 off of his index here today. It's as much as you can take on CIC without getting your personal hit. He's still going to spot almost a second to Taylor. Chemiskey Performance, Taylor and his dad, Gary, help out with any and all motorsports needs. Roger Brogdon, man behind Roof Tech. Commercial roofing contractor, residential roofing as well down in the Houston area. B Altered Planetary taking on Taylor and his C Supermod Cobalt. So the D Stroke Pro Stock Power Plant in the Roof Tech Machine. Spotting that little 333 cubic inch small block powered Cobalt, 0.96 seconds. Winner gets a date with Don Thomas in the final. Yeah, he's definitely uh, taken a little more than I have today, but he's got a few in the bank for sure. Uh, I know him, uh, great guy. He uh, lives in Amarillo with my dad, so they're back and forth at each other's shop every day, help each other, do anything we can for him, like all of us comp racers. So uh, I know him pretty well by that statement. I think he's got a couple left in the bank, and I think I do too. Uh, I tried to bribe him down there because he's got a big bounty on his head. I told him I'd give him the money. Let's just have a cocktail and uh, give me the trophy, and he didn't go for it. So uh, we're going to race. It's going to be awesome. Two Texas boys going at it here in the final. Fantastic facility here at Flying H, and we're getting ready for this. You gotta break the streak. Nobody's won one of these twice in one Oh man, I'm trying. Yeah, we need it. Well, I told you the other day we need to win three or four. That's what we need to do. Yeah, it'll be a great final though. I mean, he's down. I think I think we're both about tapped out. So we'll see what we can get out of him over here in the pits, and then go up there and let her have it. Track's so good. I mean, it's what Jack said. I think our 60 foots have been within two thousands four runs in a row. So it's it'll be a great race. I guarantee you. Thomas, Taylor Chemiski, a dragster and a door car.
Thomas has taken a hit of 11 to his index. Final pair of the day. Pumping in right now. Don Thomas is red. Taylor is double O three. Performance game, champion and competition eliminator, and picks up some more valuable bonus points for the Roof Tech Comp Eliminator Bonus Fund. Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it here for day at number two of the NHRA Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series. Flying H drag strip. The Gary first win of the year. How's that? Win of the year. We're just tickled to death. Happy for it. Happy for all the guys. Happy for the weather. All the guys are running so well. We're just blessed to be here. Flying H drag strip. And I'm going to turn the bike back over. Good cars out here. Uh, I had a little bit to do with stopping that, or I guess keeping that street going because I was the last guy standing in between Donnie and a Wally. So um, great drag race between us. It always is when we line up. Uh, to be three on the green side and three on the red side was pretty good. And obviously, I'm glad it went that way. I think we would have beat each other up had we uh, both both turned to green. But you know, when it's your day, it's your day. It's I mean, it's a saying they've said for a long time. And I didn't do the best job of driving yesterday, but my guys. My dad and Chief, I mean, they worked so hard, so they absolutely bailed me out all day, and I knew I had to be good in the final, and just fell on my side. So absolutely amazing day. It's been a long time since I've hoisted one of those Wallies, so it feels amazing, and now we're in the thick of it. I mean, we're one point back of Rick, um, separate ourselves a little bit from, you know, the guys that aren't in the clash, so it's a long season, and we got two races with points and a half coming up here shortly, but uh, you got to keep pace with these guys. So if we can go rounds, I think we've got a good shot. Well, it looks like Comp Eliminator is going to be the next out of the gate here. Four cars remaining in Comp Eliminator. Hickey, Treadwell, Linder, and Neff. Those pairings will be Hickey and Treadwell and Linder versus Neff. And here's Hickey and Treadwell. Hickey in the left lane, in the dragster. 735 the index for his B dragster automatic. Treadwell's index 833 for that M altered automatic. 23 Ford Roadster. Treadwell having issues down here in the water box. They're gonna go ahead and stage Hickey. He's getting a single. Treadwell has broken the water box. And Hickey advances to the finals. Well, he, he will face the winner between the pair of Linder and Neff. Okay, here's Clinton Neff. Neff in the left lane, Linder in the right lane. Neff in that really, really angry Chicano Dragster. A job here next for him for this round of the 714. Adjusted index for him for this round is a 714. Scott Linder's index, 713. So one one hundredth of a second is all that's going to separate these two on the Christmas tree. Linder over here in the A Alder out of Hedrick, Iowa. 2004 Grand Dam, 698 cubic inch rare and Morrison machine. Clinton F, the Ford horsepower, 499 cubic inches. Big block in the rear engine dragster. A, Econo dragster, single four barrel big block. Here we go. Red light start, F. Render going to the finals. Where he's going to face Hickey. Any 
tuning you have to do for this final? Well, the air's definitely, you know, still bad. Uh, the biggest thing is track temperature, and uh, as it starts to cool down, things are going to be a little better for us. Uh, just kind of keep monitoring that and make adjustments for that. We should be about the same ET. He's a little bit slower, so it'll be a good race that way. It's not like a, and when it's a big difference, it's hard to judge, but this will be, this will be a nice, this will be a good race. Oh, double O one red goes 990 with an eight on that 990 index. Parker was ready to rock by one thousandth of a second kept from winning here to today. Double your wallies, double your fun, right? Linder running on that A Alter 713 index out of the left lane. He's out of Hedrick, Iowa. Hickey from Pochatula, Louisiana. 735 the index for his B. Dragster. Automatic. Hickey will have a point two two second advantage off the starting line. And after that, run down to the big end and hope you're fast enough. Your number 10 qualifier, Scott Linder. Your number 13 qualifier, Adam Hickey, over here in the right lane. That's where they're going to let it all hang out. Thousands of a second. Adam Hickey disqualified himself. How's that? It's so bad. How's that? You just beat 41 cars, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was wonderful. You know, I'm just really fortunate the motor's been a really good piece david rear and brad morgan down there at rear morrison they take good care of me thing it, it just is it's pretty trouble free really and uh you know it makes good power and and the track was great all day which really helps to get it down the track so and we just had a really good day any particular round that stands out um probably the final you know he he had me pretty good on the tree and i was fortunate he went red and you know, we, we won with a red light, and I'll take that. So it would have been better to go all the way to strike, but, you know, it's a win's a win, so loving it.